Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO Where the airport that we are currently building is looking so damn beautiful boys Last episode we did some serious expansions, we got even more gates set up right now So we've now completely got rid of our general aviation, it's all commercial flights now coming in and out uh, We've got the area where we reconfigured the area where uh, our security now happens So we can do a horseshoe shape if we need to get more in We've extended our kind of exit area into eventually what will become our baggage claim area And we've got some medium check-in desks too, which have got conveyor belts So today, hopefully, we can get the baggage all up and running Which becomes another way in which we can improve the airport satisfaction And... Make a little bit of extra cash money moolah on the side as well, boys. So if you are enjoying Airport CEO, guys, want to see this beautiful airport expand, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But we're back. Now, we're currently to the point in the game right now where the tutorial is telling me that I need to get a medium runway set up because we're pretty much gearing ourselves all the way up for medium aircraft. Now, while that is a good thing, uh, I kind of don't really have the space for it. I do over here, <laughs> but that's going to be me building a whole separate airport altogether or, a, you know, a completely separate terminal to kind of get things up and running, but it's very expensive. I've only got a million left. I want to try and focus on making this a little bit more cash money, Moolah, before we take the next step forward. So first things first, then within the operations, we're going to go to the R&D. We've got the baggage handling now all up and running, which is absolutely perfect for us. We still need to do a few other stuff as well, like get the, the baggage security and all that kind of jazz. But for now, we'll just kind of leave it. We don't really need it too much just yet. But we're going to try and get a few things that will make us more money in the long run. Now, one of them is, is to have uh, night flights. That will mean that I can then run uh, flights 24 hours of the day. But it doesn't mean I can run flights 24 hours of the day because... At the end of the day, I'm limited to my flight capacity. So I think we need to research first the extended commercial license will it enable me to build a medium ATC tower with the capability of handling 75 flights per day. So we get that done, we can add more flights into our current days, uh, which we can't really maximize just yet. There's always some kind of losing out. And then we can extend it to night flights and get even more coming in. So this will take 24 hours to get done, which, you know, does what it needs to do. We'll get there eventually, because right now we are going to build our baggage area. So while the airport's good doodles around, how are we looking on the daily? So the previous day we lost 10 grand is what it is. Can't really do much about that, but we're going to try and get the numbers up. Oh, someone left a comment as well on last episode saying, Sinek, you know your, your bathrooms here, they're not in the secure zone. And I completely forgot about this. Which means nobody inside their terminal has been able to use the bathrooms. What a damn phone! <laughs> but we should be all up and running right now, guys. We should now be all up and running. And they can use it. And we can get 10 big ones. Is it 10 big ones we're charging? Let me check my fees. I'm charging uh, for bathrooms. Where is it? Where's the bathroom fees? $5. Forget that. We're charging $10. Now, I will increase... And double the price of small aircraft. I don't mind too much um, scamming everybody because it's not. It's. I wouldn't say it's going to affect my my stuff, but at the same time, I need cash coming in. There's no ifs, no buts about it. I need cash coming in. So hopefully that will increase the amount of money I make a day, and we're going to look towards now doing some baggage. So in terms of the baggage, and we need to build a baggage bay. This is where the vehicles are going to come in pick up the goods and skadoodle down and i reckon i might be able to place it just here get rid of the avgas so get rid of you get rid of all of that and i'm i'm hoping i can build it here which would be only a short distance to loading up the planes with the bags just got to all to now delete now the building well, the, the kind of the facility in itself in question is a tile either side so we should be able to get away with that so if we go and do it like this, if I do it like this, it gives us loads of sp uh, space to play around with. But I think I might need to delete the walls. So we'll just see what happens when they get this all built. So just give them a little bit of time to get that all done. I know I'm going to have to delete the walls on the entry. I know they've got to go, but I feel like the side walls have to go as well. 
Because the sizing of it is a little bit awkward. Yeah, it's all going to have to go, boys. It's all going to have to go, these walls. I don't want to build it attached to anything else. So it'll, it'll be like a, a standalone structure. <laughs> all on its own. Right, go away for delete all these walls. And we need to kind of uh, set up the ability as well to get over here from the secure zone. So I'm also going to delete this fence. Because I can now kind of reconfigure the fence. We'll delete that and get it out of the way. We'll get the uh, the baggage stuff now in. Oh, we see it in a secure zone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go, there we go. So now we place it back in. So this will go pretty much here. Now we're going to set it up for the ability to the workers to get over here. Now, obvious way to do it would to be to build a bit of a terminal connection just there. Just makes life so much easier to get over here. Going to have to delete that window as well slightly. And it is a secure zone, so they're going to have to pass um, a checkpoint as well, don't they? They're going to have to pass the checkpoint, boys. Which is easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. So the whole thing is a secure zone. We'll make this up to here a secure zone as well. And then the security... I have to pause the game because they do like to... Um, oh, that's a good point. Hold on. If I do it as a secure zone... Don't they have to go through the exit to get out? Isn't that how it works? So I really should connect this to the terminal, shouldn't I? Is, is that the best way to do it? If I delete this, how do I delete the foundation? Right, demolish tool. Scrap this. Right, hold on. Because I feel like I might be just slightly doing this backwards. Right, hold on. Hold on. Right, windows, because I've now completely messed everything all up, haven't I? I've completely messed everything all up right now. So back, you go back in there. The wall goes there. Now in terms of doors, I could go for a nice little door like that. Now obviously this all becomes a secure zone, but the only difference is this becomes a staff zone. So no passenger, no pedestrian can make their way through it. And that's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. So then I should be able to get my service road all now connected to it. Like this. Uh, and we do need to upgrade these roads as well. So service road. We are slowly doing the upgrades and kind of moving over to asphalt. Those expansions are slowly happening, boys. They are slowly happening. Uh, and now that's pretty much all done. That's, it's pretty much good to go. I'm just going to get all the conveyor belt system all connected. Now, it, it does have to go underground. So back to our baggage. And we do our... So let me get this right as well. So this is our going down one. And then we need to do our going up one, which goes there. So if they're coming in this way... So I've got to figure this out. The, that goes there to a baggage claim area. These can all go down, connect underground to connect to there. Right, I think I've got this figured out. I think I've got it all figured out. So if I run this down to here, and then do the same on this one. So they're all going to be running down this way, which means all these now connect to it in the background. Like that. And then the same on this side. Bam, ba -da, bam, 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 bam. Then in this, we just do a conveyor going down. Going down. So if I go down a floor, we'll bring this down by two. Go across. That comes down by two. Oh, damn, that went wrong. And so that all worked. That's just got to get up to here. So if I do this to there, bringing this down so far, 
That is then all connected up. So that means the baggage can get to the baggage claim area. I mean, the baggage bay, sorry. What's it called again? Yeah, the baggage bay. Where they can put those uh, bags then onto the plane. Right, i gotta, I got to build this fence again now, don't I? So before any uh, cows, any moo-moos, try and make their way through here. <laughs> and then i got to build the uh, the baggage bay where passengers can pick up their baggage once they've come through here. So what we'll do is we'll build this. So convey, bay, convey your stuffs, uh, convey about. Right, we'll do it as a little loop here. Within all of this. So give the space to put seating either side. So people can wait for their baggage to arrive. We'll do it like that so you still get the walkway. Then obviously in the conveyor belt, the going up. If I rotate this and go down. And then my conveyor belts connect to it like that. And then we've just got to get this connecting all the way over. So if I bring that to there. Actually, I'll bring it a bit further down. So about here. Because you never know where all the other kind of conveyor belt stuff is going to go. For the other claim areas. That should be all I need to do. Obviously, we've got to zone the area here. Uh, like that. But then I'm going to staff zone the middle of it. So no, like, civilians, pedestrians, passengers, whatever you want to call them, can stand in the middle of it. They've got to stand around the perimeter. Uh, it's about right, isn't it? Uh, it seems about right. So we'd also, because this is the exiting area, we also got to do the green carpet as well. So what's the, uh, the size I've been doing of it? I've been doing a two, haven't I? Yeah. So the two would obviously go all the way up. And then we just got to figure out how... So if I come out by two... So... Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Does that feel about right for a little diagonal? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. And that's your exit point to kind of lead out. Interesting. Very interesting. So this baggage bay needs to be connected. Well, this baggage claim area needs to be connected to this baggage bay. This uh, baggage no, it's the desks that they need to connect, isn't it? Yeah. So select all three, all six desks. Which okay, that's just three of them. So how many can we have connected to it? Am I missing something? There we go. So we're now all connected to it. With the... Have I got six on? It just doesn't seem... No, we are connected, yeah. So it doesn't seem like we're connected to that last one there, but we are. So that's all done. They're all connected, which means these will be connected to the gates. So I've now got to connect all of these. To the baggage bay. Have they all done it? Are they, wait, what? Can I? Oh, can't connect to baggage bay while we're in a flight. Oh, okay. This is something that we're going to have to wait until the night time. Just to make life a little bit easier for us. But yeah. We should be pretty much good to go. So the only thing I'm then missing is vehicle wise. Go to purchase vehicles. We need it for the baggage. So we're going to go with the large uh, roofless ones. I think that'll be quite nice. And we'll buy six of these because we've got six stands. Then I need to hire staff. I need to applicants. I need ramp agents. And obviously you only want good employees. So that's four ramp agents. We can have our, our select to be four. And there's any more I can hire. We'll hire a couple more as well. So we always got some on reserve. Don't the ramp agents have to work here as well? I could be wrong. I honestly could be wrong. 
But yeah. We're also disabled as well for um, for baggage bay stuff just yet. Until I've got these stands connected. So we're kind of going to have to wait. I can activate this, by the way. So that's now open. But obviously no baggage will go, kind of go over there at the minute. So how's the cash these days? Previous day, I mean, if I didn't spend all that money on construction, we would have made a profit. So that just goes to show you that the airport is almost there. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. So it's just a case of now waiting until the night time's over. So this happens after these flights have now left. Once these flights are left, which I think we've got two stands here, we could actually get connected to the baggage bay. So we've at least got that one connected. And you. We just gotta wait for these to now all leave. So you're now going. And we're connected. You're now gone. And we're connected. So it's then just these three. Waiting for that last plane to now leave. So you can see the three wires. Getting them connected. We're now all up and running. So we can now enable the baggage handling services within our airport. So baggage handling services enabled. So tomorrow, the next day... Have we researched the R&D? Oh, so close. We might be able as well on the next day, Wednesday, because we're missing three flights. So we can handle 25, 26, 27, 28 flights. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got six in total. Haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, seven? Have we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I do have seven. Okay, I'm going to hire buy one more vehicle then. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, seven spark. Okay, there's still seven spaces still available inside of the uh, the vehicle depot. That's glorious. So we're a little bit short on security officers. It looks by the looks of it, we still need one more. So applicants for security. Actually, we get another ramp agent. Uh, security officers, hire you. Very good. So enable this. Nice. That's going to be all up and running for the uh, small ones then. So waiting for the staff to walk in. There's quite a few staff members there. So yeah. This should be glorious. And I think we've just researched our R&D as well. For it as well. You know, for the extended commercial license. So that means I can now have... Once I build the medium um, tower... Hold on. Oh, which is absolutely huge, isn't it? Right, I'll build it here. I'll wait for that to build, be built, and then i get rid of the, the smaller one. I can then start accepting 75 flights a day, which will enable me to then research night flights, so I can really then maximize it. So wait for that to get done real quick. Um, okay, it's currently in the middle of the, the night, so not really much happens. Contractor's coming back in, so that's now all done. We can then delete this one. So on our flight planner, 75 flights a day. That is amazing. So that restricted time here in the red and there where we don't make any money, we'll now hopefully be able to do it. We're not airport lounges as well. We should then be able to kind of uh, put flights in there if I research night flights. So this will take us eight hours. Eight hours to get done and then we should have, we, should, we will then have the ability to make money 24 hours of the day, which would be absolutely glorious. So, how was that previous day then? Now it's ended. Lost 30 grand. We spent 37 in construction. Uh, well, 45 you include the procurement payment of the R&D that we're doing. So we would have made profit. It's not a lot of profit. Because you, you can base the profit number off this here. And then this is just what we spend. So, throw in the baggage bay right now. Oh, we're going to be making some serious cash. They're throwing the bags already on. Wait, is this already working? This is already working, isn't it? Right, people are coming in. Right, are they going to line up? Hold on, let's wait till we see them lining up to kind of check in. Right, hold on. 
Are they on the way? No, that's uh. All right, we're just waiting for for them to start checking in. So these guys are coming in right now. So you should see them then. Put their bags on. Their bags then go on. And we should see them go underground momentarily. So down like the conveyor system, underground, going through. It'll make it's all their bags will make their way up here, up there. Oh, there the bags coming off the planes, and then load here, ready for the uh, the baggage handling vehicle to take them to the actual plane itself. Then obviously the opposite side of it is this is where they pick up their bags when they get off the plane. This is amazing. So we're just waiting for a uh, a vehicle to pick up some bags, and I want to see it roughly. How many dollar bills we're making per plane that we load? So I was waiting for the uh, a vehicle to make its way to the baggage bay again to pick up the suitcases. I think we have to wait for the planes to land. To be honest with you, come on, you fools! Right, baggage vehicle then going out. It's going to unload the plane first. And this one's going to pick up the bags. So this is what we've been waiting for then. So I think you get money both ways. Loading and unloading. I'm not too sure. I know you get money for loading altogether. But only a couple of suitcases on this one then. So not too many. It's going over here. And then they should get thrown on onto the plane. How much do you make per bag? I think we got... Well, you can see it in the fees, can't you? We're making... I've chose $20, which is a lot of money. Uh, but for the first time ever then, you should now start to see... Uh, baggage fees. So we had zero on the previous day, obviously. And we needed two grand in baggage fees already. Every little helps, boys. Every little helps at this point. Every little helps. So that is just another thing that we can add to it. Okay, we're missing some staff again. So we need some more ramp agents, janitors, and security officers. So I need to now go on a, on a hiring spree. So security officers, I can only get you. Janitors, hide a few more there. Ramp agents, I want it to be green. I want the good ones. Hire you. Security passengers. No, yes, yeah, security officer. Hire you. So I've hired a few more. And we seem to be in the green at the moment. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll honestly see how long that lasts. But yeah, not bad. We need shops and restaurants so we can start charging passengers a little bit more as well. But um, very good, very good, very good. We're making... Five grand profit on the day before my expenses. But again, you also have other income, which is refunds. But yeah, it's all my expenses, this bottom one. So the airport's functional. The airport's functional. We've now just got to wait for the R&D to be done. For night flights. And then we'll just keep making even more cash. It's glorious. Now, one way to make the next step forward to make even more money would be to get medium flights oh no we need the baggage we need the baggage scanners uh, would be to get medium flights because they will bring a lot more passengers more passengers means more money but um i'm not ready yet i've got to build another runway a little bit too expensive at the moment we're not quite ready this is only a small runway I mean, I could build it over here and then, you know, make the taxiway go all the way down there. But it's just going to be really, really awkward. It is going to be really, really awkward. So, it might be a case that I slowly build the large section and keep this to the small section. We'll see how it goes anyway. We'll see. We're in no rush. We're in no rush. Everything's running all smoothly anyway. Uh, staff are managing into it. Well, being able to handle it. So, can't do any of this stuff just yet to be making any money. We need some more rampage. Apparently, we need quite a few. Oh, we've done this, by the way, the night flights. 
So if we've researched a night flight 10, which we can now get 24 hours of the day. Uh, made AJ uh, small class experience in bad strike. Okay, well, I'll accept the emergency. Let's see what happens. So the emergency is coming in. Where, where can I pull it? Thursday? Friday? <laughs> There's nowhere I can really pull it right now. And I can't really cancel, I can cancel on that flight. To put this in. Does it need to land now? It's too late to cancel this flight. Right, stand seven. Where's stand seven? Are you stand seven? You're stand one. Right, we're gonna... Can I just cancel this flight? Dismiss the aircraft? Right, that aircraft's now going. That's stand seven, by the way. Oh, is the emergency gone now? Oh, okay. Does that mean I get penalised? Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused at what's now happening. I really am. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but anyway, back to reality. Right. We now have the ability to schedule flights 24 hours a day. So on Thursday, we've gone from 25 capacity limit to now 46 coming in. So it means I could build more stands and get more planes coming in, which would be really good. Right. That emerges coming in. Uh, bird strike. Um, stay oh, it's been resolved. Has it, has it though? I don't know. I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed already. Right, let's just forget about it. If we don't know, it don't exist. Right, next then, way to make some serious cash money moolah is then implementing other services. Like, we could do the aircraft cabin cleaning and the catering services. Uh, another way to make some big, big cash, but it's not huge amounts of money. It's not huge amounts of money. So... How do I research then the, the, the stores and the CAF? So to get these done it requires a hired strategy director. So with my staff at my big committee table, I need a strategy director which unlocks the franchise R&D abilities. And oh, research speed increases by 5%. Yes, higher. So, executives, strategy director. I might have to go for a slightly weaker one to get something good coming in. Actually, no. Let's reject everybody. And wait for another strategy director to come in. Strategy director, where are you? Strategy director, where are you? Uh, oh, it's because we've got two over here. So reject the two strategy directors. Reject. And just keep waiting until they give me a good one. Yeah, yeah, we'll hire you. We'll go with you. So in my operations and in my R&D, I can now research. So I reckon we'll do... Um, should I do a, We'll do a cafe first. You know, provide them food. I reckon that would be quite important. So we'll get that research next. So this will be what we now place inside of our terminal to make a little bit extra cash. But nothing's really going to make us as much money as if we had medium flights coming in. But we're making profit. That's the main thing. If I can squeeze some additional fees out of our passengers, I would. I really would. But, yeah. So, I personally think... I personally think right now that to build the medium and large runway that we'll eventually will get done, maybe up in this area, 
the airport's going to expand the building wise around here so i think we should still keep this small airport for the small aircraft and then build for the medium going in that direction but this small air this small airport is going to pay for those expansions so in the meantime then let's actually get set up where i want this cafe so that to there was 150 if i do it 150 going back as well you, you're pretty much there so that's space there for the for the little cafe that we're going to build oh we got to get baggage security set up as well don't we we're going to have to at some point we're going to have to at some point but there's no stress just yet there's no stress just yet, boys. So nice little cafe just there will be glorious. So I can get the building all set up and you know while we're uh, you know technically waiting. So I'm gonna do like a nice little corner door just there and then one just there as well. Now the little cafe is gonna require a little bit of a kitchen as well. So I reckon I'm gonna go across by one more and then go down and that can be our little kitchen area. And then we'll do like a medium door right in the corner just here. And that'll be the perfect way to build the, the restaurant to that extent. We'll give it some nice wooden flooring. There we go. There we go. We'll get the marble flooring continuing to, to grace itself beautifully down right now. Up in that direction. Might as well bring it down to here as well. Uh, and then we'll sort out the kitchen tiles. Beautiful. So how far are we off from um, research and unlocking that then? We're pretty much half the way. So this is where we'll have a restaurante cafe area. Which will make a few extra pennies and keep a few people happy. Very good, very good, very good. So to buy new areas, it's going to cost 750000 That's a lot of cash. How much to build, like, for example, the new runway, the medium runway? Um, it's going to cost us... 335000 Oh! Expensive. Very expensive. Right, a bus has just pulled up. They're all now getting on. We gotta build car parks and stuff as well. That'll be really good to build at some point. So I've earned, we we have car parks unlocked, right? Uh taxi stuff. Oh yeah, we do, we do. So where would I build a car park? I could build one there. Maybe then flip it round to here. Actually, let me pause. Right, if I build double car parks there, got the public road and connect this straight up. So the reason for doing this is then I can do a a sidewalk. We'll first start it here. And then go down to there. Do the same here. So I'm doing a two wide grid. And I can go down to there to kind of back it all up. It means I can do some medium cross walks right now. So that is in line with this. We'll also do a double here. So people getting off there walking around. I feel like we could also put in the metro stops as well. Is it a bit too much sidewalk? I don't truly know yet. But we'll build a small little car park here anyway. And eventually we'll turn it into an underground car park. But there's definitely a lot of room to manoeuvre right now. So this is all set up to be in uh, short term parking. I'll set this one up to long term. 
And I don't know if anyone's going to use long term because obviously it's only small flights. You know what I mean? We'll get some lighting all set up as well. So where do I get the lighting right now? Lighting's here. So we'll do street lights first. So we've got some street lights going around. Drop in. We'll kind of stagger these slightly. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Got one there, one there. One there. Right. A fair few street lights down. We are starting to fill the car park up, which there is fees behind the car park as well. So short term and long term. Charge top dollar. Additional ways we can get some sweet cash coming in. So when it comes to the uh well we're now starting to get parking fees coming in, boys. Look at that. I'm making all the cash right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it. So, operations and R&D. We've researched the cafes right now. So, what will be the next move? I can get a subway permit, but I don't feel like I'm getting that many passengers coming in at this minute in time. So, why don't we look towards improving the satisfaction of the, uh, the actual airport? So, stuff like uh, getting the baggage scanners in. All right. Getting the baggage scanners in. That will provide additional level of security, giving us a higher rating. That would be pretty good to get done. Uh, floor construction permit. What's this? Oh, to do different levels, of course. Well, we're not quite at that level. <laughs> Pardon the pun. We'll do baggage scanning security. So we'll do that first. Get that up and running. So in the meantime, then, we'll, uh, we'll build our first little cafe. So, restaurantes. Oh, okay. I've, I don't think I can have the additional door in. It's going to be all part of one room, don't it? So, I'll wait for him to delete that, which might mean I then need to replace down. Are we okay? Yeah. So, back to the uh, restaurantes. And I should be able to zone this whole... Can't cross different rooms? What are you talking about? Right, we'll delete this. And then we'll place it back in ourselves. I think because you kind of lose the secure zone, don't you? Right, hold on. There we go. Beautiful. So I won't worry about the flooring just yet. I'll get that back in in just a moment. So, zone all of this. And then we can get this all set up. So, we've got very, very... I don't think we have everything that you would normally get. We've got a food counter, an empty counter up top on, uh, to frame a cafe or bar area. Uh, we'll get for a, do I go for a large cashier? I think so. If I place this here... Scrap that. Place this here. I'm hoping that is the right way. Should be. Should be. We'll get a display. A couple of display fridges in. Um, sandwiches. Snacks. I feel like I'm placing this wrong. So I'm doing a wall here. So you'll come in, you'll pick up all your goods, pay, and then go sit down. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Well, I don't need the kitchen area just yet, do I? Because I don't have it all researched. So I could do a beer tap there. Wait, why is that? Um, How's that unsecured itself? That's really weird, isn't it? 
So beer tap, coffee machine. What way does it go? I'm going to assume it's this way. Uh, sandwiches. Snacks. Display fridge. And it creates the wall. Which will then divide eventually the, the kitchen. When we can do meals to go. So I just need to build the tables and chairs, don't I? So double tables. And then do the same here. So we get some nice chairs for them to sit on. Hopefully this all goes to plan, by the way. We'll fast forward it, trying to get it done quicker. So I have no idea if this is the right way round or not. I have literally no idea. A part of me wants to say these are facing the wrong way. Will that remove the secure zone? It seemed weird to say that though, but it did previously. Yeah, it does, which is really weird. Um, so coffee machine, face it this way. Right, there we go. That should be all good. So I can assign a contract Right, but I feel like I should add a few more bits and bobs in first. So, what we could do, because there's a queuing system going to be in place. I'm going to do a, a little bit of a wall of plants to kind of hide it. And then when we eventually get the kitchen all set up and we have that ability, once I've researched, you know, the quality restaurants, we can maybe implement that there, but... This works all the same way. So sign a contract then. Who should we get in here? So the only pe the only the only place they will accept it is these. Why won't you accept it? Because what? Oh, they want more display fridges. Okay, why if I build a few additional display fridges then? So a few more display fridges, that should then up the numbers of who I'm able to get in to sign the contract so wait for these to get built and then signing the contract we can now get a few more places so Balbia, hilltop calf what's wrong with cost of coffee they want eight display fridges are you joking me right now so these guys will uh give me a three dollar hourly rent uh, sweet airport. I receive a twenty-eight percent of their, and they want one hundred and thirty-five sales per day. Is it possible for Swift Veg, or do I go for Hilltop or Balbia? So that'll give me a thirty-one percent, which is probably even better. And they want less sales a day. That's huge. Right, we'll sign them. And we'll see how busy it becomes. So this is this is already a great move. It's already a great move, boys. I can hear a car trying to start. It sounds like it's dying. Right, we'll get some more of this flooring now all in. So if I'm going to go all the way up here. Wait, hold on. Those are a bit further away than the other ones. Right, we'll do this. All the way up. Hang on, they're further back. 
Oh, hold. Even this is further back. Okay, we've kind of messed up there, haven't we? I see what I've done wrong there. I can I can completely see what I've done wrong. What a damn fool. What a damn fool. <laughs> right, I won't change it now. It's not I'm not it's not I'm not desperate to do it. I ain't desperate to do it. I just want to get some of this floor in it. Between these areas real quick. There we go. And then run this all the way down here. Just to the red carpet. Like that. And I'll extend the red carpet a little bit. Just to there. So the cafe is now open. Who got? Who do we get in the end? We got... Uh, is it Balbeer? That's who we got in the end, isn't it? Bell beer, which they've already done their daily sales, so that's great. And we get a higher percentage of their revenue too, so it all works out in the end, right? It all works out in the end. So in terms of revenue, then we made forty-five in the previous day, forty-one on this day. But what will be interesting to see is the difference in uh, in revenue. So parking is higher than the previous day because we're now going a full day with it so making nearly 10 grand so far and today alone on parking two grand on the franchises so that is our little restaurant cafe that we've got all up and running so today's been about making money and we truly are making money looks like we we could pretty much do with some additional car parking spots as well so that's turned out pretty well I'm already impressed. I'm not even going to lie right now. I'm already impressed. It's a small airport. That's the wrong carpet, isn't it? It's a small airport right now. But it's a very powerful one. It's making big money. It's making big money already. Oh, they're gonna they might even triple their sales on the day they're gonna be so happy oh so happy right now but i think we'll end it here guys so next episode then we'll look to slowly expanding the airport and creeping it around this way as we look towards getting the larger airport set up where we'll start accepting some medium planes some large planes as well eventually we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this little bit of a dead space here I don't know whether to kind of maybe back on a few more additional smaller stands. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I might... I mean, this will kind of expand up as well. I mean, I, it depends on how I'm going to build all this. Because it might be the security area for the larger side of the airport as well. We'll see what happens, guys. We've got plenty of room to do stuff. We've got plenty of room. And I don't want to go too crazy with the airport. I want to keep it nice and simple and, and you know, standard. But seeing as this is now making a consistent profit, which is probably going to make over 100000 in today alone, we're ready to start spending that profit money into building the bigger variation of the airport. Oh, this is going to be very, very exciting. But for now, we will end it here. I hope you guys did enjoy in this beautiful episode if you did smash that like button down below and until next time guys i will see you all soon so good bye